what's going on guys hope you guys are having a good day uh, I know this has been my first video in a while um, I got some news with the escape so I went home to Virginia for this past weekend um, in order to just kind of uh, visit my grandmother and get some stuff in order and everything like that um, so on my way home the uh, alternator went out again this would be the fifth alternator I've gone through on this car uh, no, fourth, and I'm on my fifth currently. Um, so, yeah, now we're down on to a boatload of money spent on alternators on these cars. So this this is really irritating me. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to do with the car. Um, I've spoken to my parents who helped me out financially with this car and everything, and um, it looks like they're going to try to push me to sell it, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but if that's the case, Great Escape might be going. But it's been a good long run. The major news for the car is just I'm, I'm kind of sick and tired of the alternator issue. I don't know why, what's causing it. Um, this last time, or the time before that, they said it was a bad wiring harness that kept on doing the alternators and they said they replaced it but apparently went out again so I don't know um, not really sure what's causing it and then some kind of exciting news but everything's double-edged right now I might have two replacement doors for this car coming soon um, I am trying to get in contact with one lady in Pennsylvania probably 15 minutes away that has um, the exact same color escape She's selling it a thousand bucks the whole car. I have talked her into just selling me the two passenger doors. Now if she does that, then this will be replaced and fixed, and it won't look so crappy with this big old dent in it. Kind of exciting news. I'm really hoping she can respond to me because her and I went back and forth talking on like Saturday, and she said something about Tuesday in her last message, but replied to her with a question mark and then asked her. What does that mean? And then she hasn't replied to me since. It's now 7 o'clock Wednesday. She still hasn't responded. She, the last time responded to me was at 7 o'clock um, Sunday. So that's really frustrating to me. I have these doors like this close and she hasn't responded and she won't respond. So that's it's very frustrating. Um, yeah. <laughs> I re there's not really much I can do. I've tried like Facebook calling her. I've tried messaging her. I've, honestly, I've even messaged her husband because I was like, maybe she just doesn't really use Facebook that much. Let me message her husband and see if he can get in contact with her. Still nothing. So that's been fun. Um, kind of getting a little, a little irritated, but right now she's really my best option in getting those doors fixed without it costing me over a grand. So, unfortunately, I just gotta wait, be patient. I'm thinking she'll probably respond in a week. And, um, who knows. We have a meet coming up this Saturday, April 14th. Yeah, April 14th. Um, it is gonna be a small little escape meet, and we're all cruising to a larger meet. Um, it's gonna be, right now I have like three or four people going that have escapes. Um, hopefully it'll be fun. Uh, there will be a good video coming out for that that event for sure. Um, definitely gonna film as much as I can then. And uh, yeah, so I think later this week you'll probably get a prep day video Friday of just me cleaning down the whole car and working on just getting it meat ready. Cause I mean, like, look, this thing is this thing has been the biggest pain, but I love it so much. If I could just get this to stop rusting, then it would be perfect. But like rust, rust. Uh, there's other spots over there, but whatever. So, um, not really entirely sure if I'm going to include this in the video, but uh, if it does come down to um, me having to get rid of the escape, um, what type of car would you like to see next on this channel? Um, right now, I'm kind of trying. To figure out what would be best for me um, like I said nothing's in stone I really don't even know what they're gonna say to me they so they just told me that like we would have to have a conversation about the car at the end of the month um, so I don't know I think they just kind of want to get me in a, a safer car or more reliable car 
Um, they just recently moved out to Colorado, so when I was halfway back from West Virginia to Virginia, I was uh, no power. I didn't have anybody near me within 100 miles um, that would be able to help me. Um, so I think that kind of scared them a little bit. And who knows? They might uh, end up pushing me to buy or to sell the escape or do something with the escape. Um, I really don't know, but I'm trying to decide between either switching to something more off-road ready, off-road capable, stuff like that, or going a different route and switching to like a Mustang, something sporty or something faster. Um, so I know most of my subscribers are into, interested in the off-road content. Um, I just kind of want to ask y'all what what would y'all like to see in the future? More something more off-roadish, where I can do more, <laughs> and um, or would you like to see me to start doing like tuner stuff? Not tuner stuff, but like more speed-related things, um, higher horsepower stuff. Who knows? But yeah, that's that's pretty much all I really wanted to do for today's video. I haven't really made a video in a while. So that kind of bugged me and with the alternator stuff, I didn't, I, w I really meant to go to like three car shows this weekend, but then the alternator gave out. So that was extremely unfortunate and I couldn't go anywhere, but luckily the shop I took it to fixed it in one day, which was amazing. Uh, <laughs> I dropped it off on Friday night and they had it ready by Saturday at like five o'clock. Uh, they even stayed over time to help me out. Um, there's some good people I knew back in uh, Virginia, a shop I used to take it to all the time. So they're, they're good people. Um, and I'm glad they could help me out and stuff. I'm going to look out for new videos this week. They will be coming, I promise. Thank you. Until next time, like, comment, and subscribe.